guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so we're here for another one of our three in 30 um, alphabet challenges so I've got a couple of ideas in my mind of what to do we're up to the letter Q um, again just like a scratch record oh I can't believe we're up to Q already so I racked my brains and racked my brains and racked my brains and you know went back to my original um, thought what which was quotes um, I really wanted to come up with something a little bit more I don't know, imaginative. I was on Google kind of trying to find words that I'd never heard of beginning of Q, uh, with Q and things. But yeah, I've come back to quotes. So that's what we're going to go for. So all I've done, I've pulled out a couple of bits from some children's books of things that I'm going to use with little quotes on. I've got some book page here because I'm going to do a sort of floating pocket, I think, with a book page. I've got one of these attendance cards, which Laura so kindly gifted me, so I might do an autumn one of those. And then I've also got these stamps, which are stamped quotes and words. Um, I'm thinking I will probably go for this one, which says true love stories never have endings. Um, so again, you know, if you've got any kind of stamps with quotes or anything like that, of course, you can just handwrite your own quotes. I mean, I wouldn't do that probably because my writing is not brilliant. And it would just look like a blot on the landscape kind of um, with my pieces. But yeah, so anything that you want to make your quotes up out of. So it could be individual words from a book that you're going to, you know, join together. You know, like those scary letters that people used to send in, um, you know, like murder mysteries, like the whodunits, kind of where they would have the letters from the newspaper, those kinds of things. Um, or, of course, you could get just like the odd line here from a book. I mean, this one says, my word, that is a good idea. So anything really that kind of resembles a quote um, to you. Uh, and then I have just got some patterned papers and um, I've got my scissors. I have got my glue. Uh, I've got my ink pads. And, you know, obviously I have got all sorts of other rubbish. Just get my ink pad out of this little packet. Um, I've got all sorts of little bits of rubbish all over my desk, obviously, to pull from. So just bring anything that you think that you might want to do. Um, and obviously, yeah, we're going to endeavour to do the three items in 30 minutes. So let me get my timer ready. Hold on two moments. Uh, just so rubbish with my phone, to be honest. Oh, come on, right. Okay, so I've got my timer here. I will try and keep that somewhere vaguely in view. Obviously, because, um, you know, I'm short on space, it might be that it will have to be moved. So let me just move my bits out of the way. I think I might start with the floating book page pocket first. So I'll move those things out of the way to one side and um, bring in the book pages. Okay, let's get going. Okay, the time is on. Right, let me sit down because I'm currently standing up. So sitting down, I'm sure, would be better um, for crafting. Oh, so I hope everyone's having a good day. Ah, oh, right. I can't believe these um, these challenges. They have gone so fast, haven't they? Actually, I don't need to turn that up. I turned it up so it would be the right way up. But to be fair. It's not really going to be, um, you know, visible anyway, so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to glue my book page and I'm just going to sort of glue two together so that, um, you know, it's more durable and it's thicker. Yeah, I can't believe we're up to Q already. It's just absolutely flown by. Well, I mean, it has for me. Hopefully it's, it's flown by for you guys. Well, depending on whether you want it to fly by, obviously. There we go. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is fold this up like that. And it's just going to be a floating pocket. Now, I mean, obviously in an ideal world, you would probably stitch around this to have your pocket. Um, I mean, as usual, I know you're probably all sick of hearing me say, but I mean, I haven't got my sewing machine here. So I'm just going to glue mine because um, 
Shall I glue it or shall I just say that I will stitch it at the end? I might just stitch it at the end because I'd like to have it stitched really. So um, yeah, I'm going to stitch it at the end uh, after all. And what I thought I would do, I'm going to take, I think, um, the first line of this. So this is from that gorgeous Victoria Plum book. And it just says, to be a fairy, you must be a friend to all the folk you see. Isn't that so sweet? And obviously it's got a whole bunch of other stuff, but I will just keep it to those two lines. So I'm just going to cut that down like that. And I'm going to just tear it there. And then I'll just cut it across the top. And I've got other things on here that I could use as well. Do a good deed every day. Isn't that cute? Um, now, oops, I made a hideous job of cutting that. I'll just trim that down like that. Okay. Now, obviously, because this is book page, this really is not really um, standing out particularly well. So I've just got here, this was some of my very vintage kits, but it was some that... Um, you know, has printed out when one of the colours was running out of the ink. So it's come out really, really yellow. Um, so I'm just going to cut down a little portion of that to hopefully pop my quote on just to make it stand out slightly more. I might be able to have it like that actually. So we'll just cut that down here. Just because obviously if it's text on text, I know it's different fonts, but I feel it's just getting lost slightly in there. So it's quite nice to have it sort of standing out a little bit more on a bright, bright fun piece there. Now, do I want it this way round or do I want it lengthways? Now, the thing is, if I have it lengthways, although I think that's lovely, I've covered up all of my fonts from the book page, which... I quite like seeing the font. No, I'm going to, just going to stick it down. No time for uh, dilly-dallying in this, is there? So, there we go. Oops. And I just want to say thank you to all those people who are crafting along with me. I know that Emily from Emma Femmer's uh, Treasures, she's been doing some of the three and 30 alphabet challenges. Um, Pam at the Outpost, She's been um, doing them. And obviously Rachel at Roxy Creations, she's also doing them. So um, yeah, thank you so much. It's such fun um, that you're joining in and I'm really thrilled that you are. I mean, I just think they're a really good fun thing to do. And um, I don't know, just takes, takes you away from all the other projects that we do that we can really take our time and contemplate, you know, what to do. This is completely different to that and, um, you know, personally I'm loving that and finding that really, really fun. Ugh, I really could have done with changing my sponge on here before the video, but never mind. So let's just go for, go for this. So just ink this one up. Yeah, really exciting. I hope that, um, you know, all those people who are joining in are really enjoying it. So uh, I'm I'm loving watching people's versions of what they're making. It's really, really fun. And, you know, I know that I've said this before. I, I might have said it, but on a video that I've not posted yet. Um, what I love is that we're all doing you know, originating from the same thing. But the results are so very different. And that's what's so nice about crafting, isn't it? Because, um, you know, we're, we're doing kind of essentially the same things, but the results are just so very different because everyone's got their own styles. Everyone has their own ways of doing things. And that's just lovely, you know, really fun to see. So I've got this blue lace. I did use a lot of this blue lace when I made my very vintage journal and um, it just, oh, it just looks so striking against this kit. It just looks 
really lovely. So um, definitely I'm feeling the need to incorporate that. Now I'm just having a look because I'm sure I've got here somewhere some soft net or something to back my little quote onto. But of course, now I'm looking, I can't see it anywhere. So I might just, I just use this. I mean, this is just like the um, lining from, I think it was actually from some sort of blouse type top thing. Um, but it's very like cheesecloth in that it's very thin and can you see it's kind of disintegrating almost when you're pulling the threads um so it's really nice and just ideal for this type of thing so just cut that round oops and then just cut along there i thought i might have been able to tear it but actually i think i'm just invariably going to end up tearing the the fabric to nothing, you know, would just disintegrate before my eyes. So, uh, oh, come on, let's go back to doing it with the with the scissors. Okay. So I mean, it doesn't add very much, but just that little bit of added extra is enough to just. Um, make a difference I think so just going to glue that down here I'll just put a line of glue there pop that down and then oops then just stick my my quote oh, sorry my glue is now just sticking on everything all over my desk Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? And then I'm just going to pop this blue lace down here. Although I am going to stitch around this, um, you know, hopefully that will still be fine on the sewing machine. So, um, like that. Oh, I've stuck the lace down now, the wrong side up. Okay. okay, so I'm just going to trim that down here. So that could just be a little floating pocket and then what I would do is obviously stitch around the three sides and it would just be a little, you know, opened pocket at the top there. You could obviously put a thumb hole in if you wanted. But what you could then do, because it's going to be a floating piece rather than fixed into your pages, you could then just take a little bit of coffee dyed paper. I'm just seeing whether I've got a slightly thicker piece than that because, um, you know, my glue's just going to kind of show through on there like a sore thumb. No, I don't think I have. Oh, oh well, I'll just have to go with... Um, no, I'm not going to go with that. I've got some in my bag behind me, so just bear with me for a couple of seconds. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this round like that. Cut that down. And then that's a little journaling spot on the back of the pocket. So not only would you obviously have the journaling space inside, but you'd also have obviously this little journaling space on the back as well. So I'm just going to glue that down. In fact, just before I glue it down, I'm just going to round the corners. Okay. 
quite strange because when you're Googling, um, you know, I was kind of Googling Q, words beginning with Q, and you come up with all these really weird and wonderful things. And um, I mean, most of which I wouldn't be able to pronounce, to be perfectly honest. But they, you know, it's like that rabbit hole that you kind of then get sucked down because um, <laughs> looking at one thing leads to another thing. So there was a word which I can't pronounce and I can't even vaguely remember how it was. But it's to do with, uh, I think it said it was a Spanish word and um, it was to do with like a girl uh, celebrating a girl turning 15 and there must be some sort of celebration you know in in Spain it, traditionally I don't know whether that's kind of still much of a thing now I don't know but there we go so I'm just going to stitch around to the edges and that would just be a little floating pocket that you could just paper clip onto your pages so that's the first piece took a long time to get there didn't it right let's do the next piece so the next piece I've got is this attendance card, which I'll just fold that over. Like that. And do you know what, actually? Now I'm just thinking. I, I was planning on making just a little booklet, but actually, now I've got this far, kind of thinking, should we just tear it down and have it as another little kind of pocket piece? What do you guys think? Could have it as a little side pocket. Let me check which quote I'm going to use for this one because that will possibly determine. So I've got this one here oops, that I said about true love stories never have endings. So if I just get my stamp block I don't very often use a stamp block but if you're doing a quote or something you sort of need to because um, you know you need it to be really what's the word well really straight I guess is the, the thing oh my gosh I just suddenly thought let me check I'm in frame oh I've had a couple of technical problems lately so uh worrying isn't it right so I've got that so right I made a hideous job of stamping that oh no I can't really stamp it on the back so let me move that to one side Ooh. okay let me just pull in right that's a bit better so that's it just on some coffee dye paper I also have one of Rachel's labels there and I thought actually I could possibly just stamp it on there but these are the smaller ones and I haven't really got time to now dig through finding my bigger ones but yeah you could stamp these in those labels and they'd look really nice wouldn't they so let's just tear this around what was I saying oh the the Spanish girls um you know celebrating her 15th birthday so yeah like this rabbit warren that you end up kind of being sucked down I really don't know how I kind of ended up where I ended up but um <laughs> before I knew it I was I think because I thought oh that sounds interesting you know I wonder what that looks like again sort of searching for ideas thinking how could that be transformed into a craft idea so this word, whatever this word was, because obviously I can't pronounce this or anything, I can't remember it. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to tear this on this edge. Like that. And have it as a little pocket piece here. Um, so what I will do, and again, this would be great to actually stitch around. But for this one, I'm just going to glue around it just to, you know, otherwise I've got nothing quite completed. Everything would need stitching. Um, yeah, so I went on just to see what it would look like to see if there was anything I could convert into craft, you know, a craft project. And um, the Google images that came up were just all of... Now, I'm going to just trim this down on the edge slightly, actually, because... I think that's quite wide. Uh, the Google images that came up absolutely 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dressed girls. Um, I mean, mainly they obviously must have been shops, I think, obviously advertising their dresses that you would wear for this party or this event and, you know, occasion. Wow, they were like, oh, dresses I've never really seen before. They were just so beautiful. And um, <laughs> it was obviously during the evening I was doing this and my daughter was supposed to be in bed. So I was, you know, sat in bed kind of just before well not just before I like to go up to bed and kind of just relax there for a bit and um she got back up you know and came into my room and was oh mummy I need the toilet now um but she obviously then spotted what I was looking at obviously on the laptop oh mummy look at them dresses so yeah then it was kind of like okay come on you know don't don't get sucked into looking at what I'm looking at but I can see why she did, because, wow, they were amazing dresses. Like, amazing. Right, just seeing what I could kind of brighten this up with. So, I've got this green paper. This is from some new papers that I've just been doing. And they're hopefully in my shop, you know, by the time that I've put this video up. Um... <clears throat> so I just thought that maybe they would be quite nice for adding a splash of colour onto here. And I always love green, so I'm going to just glue this down. Oh, you have to excuse the back. That's some more printables that I've been obviously creating. Again, I don't know whether they're in my shop yet. They're not at the moment, but they might be by the time this video goes up, so... Mm. Okay. So we'll just do that and I'm just going to cut cut that down. Yeah, so um had to kind of say to her, oh, you know, go to the toilet, come on, go back to bed now. But I can see why she was sucked in and wanted to be looking at what I was looking at because wow, they were amazing dresses. Amazing. So, yeah, right, I'm going to have that like that. So I might have a bit more of that cheesecloth type stuff to put that quote on. Just have it like that. So I'll just glue it onto there and then sort of cut around it afterwards. It's funny, isn't it? Because I don't know about you guys, but uh, I mean, the internet, I mean, it's amazing. It's fantastic and I love it. But it is a terrible way for just getting totally suckered into wasting endless time. Because like I said, you know, that just led to completely off task, you know, then just scrolling down looking at all these beautiful, beautiful dresses, which had absolutely nothing to do with, obviously, my initial mission. Um, and that's a bit what happens sometimes with the internet, I find. You have to be quite disciplined and kind of think, no, nope, stay, stay focused with what I'm looking at. Right, just suddenly looked at the clock and um, I'm now dilly-dallying a little bit too much, so... Just stick this down like that. Okay. So we'll pop that on like that. Put a little bit of lace here, which might look quite nice up there. Let's just trim that down. I'll we'll just trim it down height ways as well. <clears throat> just ink that up a little bit more. Just glue that over the top here. Wow, the time's suddenly flying by. 
it goes like that, doesn't it? I sit here thinking, oh, I've got ages, and then just suddenly... Right, I also have these flowers, which just weirdly were just on my desk from something else that I had been doing the other day. So talk about a stroke of luck, because what a fantastic colour match that is. So, oops, actually, let's use my fabric glue for that. Looking good. So we've got that like that. Now I could do with a centre really for that flower. I've got time to muck about looking for them. Not really. Not really. Uh, hold on. Ooh. I I have been doing some other videos and I made some flower centres. And now of course I can't find them. Oh. Right, okay, well, we might just have to crack on and leave that without a centre. But with a view of, you know, I would put something in the centre of that at a later, later time. So, otherwise I'm going to just fail miserably in this task. So, let's just glue that down. Okay, let's move that to one side because um, I don't think I've really got much time to be wasting here you could actually just before i do that i'm going to just do a little bit of stamping in that background and again just because i haven't really got time for nothing about i think i'm just going to use my my scrolly favorite because um you know i haven't really got time for the looking for any other stamp here so we'll just go for that Oops. okay that would do that would do that would do oh my gosh i'm like down to six minutes what is going on right the final piece then oh oh no now i've lost <laughs> i've lost my other crepe there it is right my word that is a good idea so i think all i'm going to do is this is another piece from those background papers that um you know, hopefully will be in my shop by the time that this video goes up. So all I'm going to do is make, I think, a little sort of envelope piece, a bit like the ones we did a few videos back, you know, that are those flippy type pieces. So I'll just pop those down. And actually for this one, I might just actually even glue these down so they're not coming up at all. Because actually this is on thicker paper and to be honest, I, in hindsight, again, I could have done with using a thinner, a thinner sheet. Never mind. Right. So, and I just, you know, just guesstimate really where I'm going to fold that. So, I just want it folded up a couple of times like that. Enough so that you can then just fold your little flap down. So I'll just use my scissors and then we've got this my word that is a good idea so I'm going to cut that down now it might be that this is too long to go in a straight line on here oh no it's okay but we might think that actually it might be nice to split that so I just cut that down here like that and then if I just split it where it's got the comma so my word that is a good idea we could have it like that which looks cute doesn't it so I'm just going to tear that slightly because it was quite quite long that side so I'll just ink that up uh, glue it down sorry I should have inked it up was what I what I was obviously thinking is I must ink that up and now I've glued it down it's too late so I will ink up the entire thing at the same time okay <laughs> right oh now I'm putting the wrong glue lid on the wrong glue what on earth is going on oh my gosh right 
So obviously I have printed this on white cardstock, so I'm just going to ink inside this as well, just so it's, um, you know, not so stark white when you unfold it. Okay. Okie dokie, and then I will just ink up the other side. So I just obviously ink, you know, focusing on, you know, like the, the folds where it would be a naturally aged place. So, and then obviously as well getting that um, text, the quote. So just ink there like that. And then I'd like to have a bit of lace. Do I have any here? Or is that going to now let me down as well? Oh no, come on. Oh, and now look what I've just found. A bunch of Rachel's labels there in my little packet here. This is just a packet from where I'd gone to my mum's the other day and I took a couple of crafting bits with me to do while I was there. This is so annoying. I don't know where my ivory coloured lace that I was planning on using. I don't know where it is. Right. Well, I can't really, can't really afford to waste too much time looking for it. So, let's check whether there's any laying around beside me. No, not. Right. This is going to look monstrous on there because really big and this is obviously a really small envelope piece but I guess it's it's better than nothing and at the moment that's the way it's heading is just nothing so uh, I'm just going to pop some glue on there glue this down here and then what I'll do is obviously just trim that right the way down. So a bit there. Oops. And then we'll just come from behind, I think. Okay. So, I mean, I have to be honest, you know, that's not quite as I'd planned because I didn't really have the right piece of lace, but it will do. And then I might just pop a little Martha Stewart butterfly on there. So again, I just like to keep some of those inked, uh, punched out ready. So I just ink around it slightly. And I just pop that on there like that. Okay. Pop that down. Wow. Is this a piece that's going to have no bling? And I just thought, I don't think I put bling on here. Actually, that must have been conscious at the time, which I obviously couldn't even remember, but obviously didn't because how will I be stitching around that on the sewing machine if I have the, the bling on there? So yeah, once I've stitched around it, I might add some blue, uh, blue, might add some bling afterwards. Okay, so that's our pieces. Let's stop that. Okay, so looking cute, and um, I'm just going to pull in something to show you how they look on a page. So, where is my journal that I'm working on? Okay. So, this is how they would look on, on a page. So, you've got this one here, which is obviously that cute pocket. And you just obviously tuck your pieces in there. So it looks nice, doesn't it? And then we've got this little envelope, which, well, it's not really an envelope, a flippy piece. You could just paper clip on at the top, or, you know, for instance, if you had this, you could just have that tucked in to that pocket, which is really nice. And then this would just be a little floating pocket. So once I've stitched around the three sides, you've got obviously your top loading pocket here. You've got some journaling space on the back. And again, you could just then obviously paper clip that onto a page and move it around in your journal. So I hope that you liked the um, pieces that we made. 
um, hope that you managed to make some nice bits if you were crafting along with me. And again, thank you so much to those people who are joining me on the challenge. I'm really pleased and yeah, really exciting. So thank you very much for joining me and hopefully you'll all join me next Saturday. Thanks very much. See you guys soon. Bye.